What is up, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, a.k.a. Review King MB, and yeah, I watched the movie, so I hope you're interested in my thoughts on it. I saw Black Christmas. This is yet another remake. Uh, I've, uh, You know, the original came out in, I think, the 70s or 80s. I've never seen it, I'll be honest. Uh, there was a remake that came out so many years ago and I've seen that film and it's really screwed up and messed up but I, I can watch it, it's fine this 2019 remake I don't know what the point is it's directed by Sophia Tacal and the plot, the plot is that you're seeing this mass killer going around and killing girls at a college uh, sorority so I guess there's a lot in common with the other movies in that regard but I was almost immediately disinterested in this movie once I saw the first kill. This first kill is so lame, so uninspired, so just nothing. An ice pick in the stomach is basically how this poor girl, and I say poor girl, I mean this poor actress, had to go through. At least stab her in the eye. At least stab her in a way where it's believable that she would die that quick from it just I, I saw that and I thought wow this is lame and radar for no real reason it's not inspired our main character Riley Stone is played by Emojin Poots who this is an actress yes a very interesting name but I like her I've seen her in a few things and every time I see her I like her I like what she brings even in this movie, I was fine with her. It's just, this plot itself, I thought, was boring. Just, when they had something, there was a moment when I thought they had something with the plot. Because you saw that the girls in this movie, the group of girls, there's a bunch of them, I'm not even going to bother to read their names because I don't know any of them. And you probably don't either. If you, do, if you guys do know any of these actresses, if you know them from something else, please tell me because maybe, maybe, maybe they're good. I don't want to say that, hey, they all suck just because this movie is bad. I'm sure they're fine. But you see this, especially this one moment where the characters are arguing with this boy in a fraternity, right? And he's complaining about how guys like him who are nice guys, who are or guys that mean well, uh, they're being brought down by this whole social justice warrior thing, right? And you have women that are crying rape or crying uh, abuse from men, all men, and just because you're a guy with a penis, then hey, you're the enemy. And guys like him don't deserve it because, hey, I'm, I'm not a bad guy just because I'm a guy. And I thought to myself, huh, that could be interesting. It's very topical, sure. And so maybe that's why you could warrant the, the, the reason for the remake. But I thought to myself, wow, we're going to have a killer. At least it looked like it. We're going to have a killer who maybe he was accused of rape. Or maybe he was accused of doing something to a girl that he didn't really do. And it ruined his life. He had everything taken away from him. And so now he has nothing. And so he now takes this to go out and kill these girls. Girls who at least have, have either done things in the past, wrong things, accusing, or they represent that to him, right? Maybe he snapped. And I thought to myself, okay, if that's the case, if this is the reveal, I can go along with this. Unfortunately, a lot of these kills and a lot of these girls being stalked are very boring and uninspired and unoriginal. And we've seen it a thousand times. And so there's nothing special there. The direction isn't special. And I just feel like I've seen it so much. I just, I, if you're going to give me a slasher, and I, I desperately want more slashers, give me something to make it not seem like a thousand other slashers that I have seen, though. And then this, this story element I thought was interesting. I was curious to see where it went. And then you get to the twist. And so, look, if you guys give a fuck about what this twist is, like if you don't want to know what this twist is, if you care, if, the, if, if spoilers make you angry, then tune away now because I have to talk about why this movie 
nose dives off of a cliff. So you find out that this professor, played by Carrie Elways, how the hell did they not get you to do any of the Saw sequels besides the last one? But you were willing to do this piece of shit. So he comes in and you find out that he is behind the killings. That he has this book of black magic. And he's using this voodoo-like spell to mind control and put a curse or spell on these boys, these guys in the fraternity. And he's using them to do the killings. He's using them to... And I just thought, why? Why did we go supernatural? Why did we have this weird, dumb, awkward twist? Why did we go in this direction at all? This was dumb. And this just made the whole movie fall apart for me. I I did not care at all from that point forward what happened. Sure, I finished it. But I finished it out of, sure, out of the sheer boredom. <laughs> I was bored, so I left it on really in the background. Uh, this isn't going to be in my worst uh, movies of the list or even worse horror movies because, believe it or not, there's been worse. This just falls into the camp of it was boring. It was not special. It's very forgettable. I mean, I'm probably going to forget this by tomorrow, which is good that I'm recording the review while I am. But, man, it just, it's it's not... It's not needed. It's not necessary. It was one of the most unnecessary remakes that I've seen in a long time. This, I'll give a sum of bullshit. So, guys, yeah, yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you have seen the remix, remake, whatever the hell, A Black Christmas. Did you like it? Why the hell would you like it? Believe me, if you haven't seen it, it's bad. It's terrible. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later.